I'm Jack Whitehead, uh, one of the contributors to the book, and I just want to focus on some of the reasons why I've been so enthusiastic about this project. Uh, in particular, it, it's because of an idea that I was introduced to by Mark Potts, um, and it is living citizenship. And about two years ago, I heard Mark um, deliver, along with Steve Coombs, a paper at the uh, British Educational Research Association meeting. And the ideas of holding oneself accountable to living a value of a living citizenship attracted me enormously. And I think it was partially because I've been very attracted to uh, Nelson Mandela's ideas of Ubuntu. Um, in the sense of I am because we are, and one can work towards a more socially just society and hold oneself accountable for living those values as fully as possible. And in relation to uh, Nelson Mandela's life, I also felt that it was not only a question of um, living citizenship, it was also acknowledging that we can connect with the lives of others across cultural boundaries and develop a value of living global citizenship to which we will hold ourselves accountable for living as fully as possible. And it's this idea that I think pervades the book. I've also brought into, I think, these kinds of inquiries an emphasis on the importance of multimodal forms of expression and communication. Um, and what I mean by this is that the dominant academic discourse, certainly within Western universities, has been very heavily influenced for uh, two and a half thousand years by print, by text, by words on their own, rather than any embodied expression of meaning that visual data can help to provide. And I usually make this distinction between lexical definitions where words are defined in terms of other words and ostensive expressions of meaning where the meanings are communicated through our bodies, through our embodied forms of expression. And I use video um, to gather visual data so that the expression, in particular, of values and energy can be focused on in explaining our influences in what we're doing. Now, you can access quite a number of these accounts from the web page called actionresearch.net. That is all one word, actionresearch.net. And from the top of the What's New menu, you can access the Educational Journal of Living Theories. And this is freely accessible, a multimedia journal that contains quite a lot of living theories of practitioners who are showing what it means to live their values as fully as possible in their own practice. Um, this idea of living theory, which I know both Steve and Mark were attracted to, and certainly uh, Mark in his doctorate acknowledged the importance of this idea, is that the idea of a living theory is that it is an explanation that each one of us can give which explains our educational influence in our own learning, in the learning of others and in the learning of the social formations in which we're living, working and researching. And the text that we've produced emphasises the importance of each individual accepting responsibility for living their values as fully as possible, including and focusing on the ideal of living global citizenship. And this value can be included within an explanation of influence as you and I explain our influence in inquiries of the kind, how do I improve what I'm doing? Because most of us, I think, in our professional practice and our lives as a whole, want to actually make a difference to what's happening and we also want to see it improved in the sense that we're showing <coughs> what it means to live values that we believe carry hope for the future of humanity as fully as possible. 
And I sincerely hope that uh, the text that we've produced will be supportive for you in creating your own living theories with a focus on living global citizenship. I do hope we can hear from you because we do have various e-forums that we've mentioned in the text that you can actually connect with us. So I do hope you will. Bye for now.